Only two weeks in Bangkok. Have you done any sightseeing yet? Not really. Pretty much nothing. So what are we going to do today? Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Well, we're going to have lunch and record some videos. Good. Hopefully the videos will be less shaky than this one. On our way to uh, to Khao San, like the street where I used to hang out when I was a backpacker five years yeah, ago. Yeah, why are we going to Khao San? I heard that Khao San is just for uh, backpackers. Yeah, we're, well, backpackers. we're gonna be a backpacker today. Only cool. this afternoon. So there we are, guys. Uh, it's Jan van der Aar from the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm here in, in Bangkok with Otto Richards. Is that what a Dutch accent sounds like? <laughs> it's as close as I can get, which is not very close. Ladies and gentlemen, Carson Road. So this is where it all happens. Um, see the tuk-tuk drivers here. If you come to Carson, don't take, don't take them. They always bring you to the same places: tailor shops, jewelry shops. Hi, Molly, what do you have here? Right, so here we got bird's nest. Now this is a delicacy in Asia. Um, and it's made from the saliva of these little birds who use their saliva to build nests and the saliva solidifies and becomes the nest. Now, it's very expensive, uh, you can find it across China and Asia and I've wanted to try it for a long time. So I've just bought some and I'm going to try it. How does it look like? It's a, it looks like bird saliva. It's a, it's a liquid or? It's a liquid, yeah, with saliva. Yeah. Is it supposed to be healthy or what does it taste like? You finish it all at once. It's actually really good. It's quite sweet because it gets a lot of uh, sweet, natural sweetness from rock sugar. You just gotta like not think about what it is that you're actually drinking. But it's really good and apparently it's gonna turn me into some kind of superhero. Okay, so we thought that we'd try and say a few encouraging words for those of you who want to learn Thai and perhaps haven't started yet. So, there are, although there are some tricky things about Thai, I think there are also some easy things, um, or perhaps you know easier than other than similar points in other languages. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and what would you say are some of the easy or less difficult aspects of Thai for a an English speaking learner? Mm -hmm. I think one thing is that the words are very short. So most words are only one or two, sometimes three syllables. Find them pretty easy to remember. Um, yeah, I, I think. Um, Certainly the thing that has stood out for me is like grammatically Thai is pretty simple mm -hmm. and um, you know the, the words can like, much like Chinese I think words can kind of be combined in a very yeah. simple way you can yeah. play around with the order yeah. and whilst in English you might need 15 words to explain something yeah. often you can do it in three words in Thai yeah so grammatically it really is pretty straightforward yeah. um, Thai is a tonal language and I think most people they see tonal language as something di difficult but actually it also has its advantages because like for us and the, the example that Chu gave us the other day the word for duck is pet and it's for spiciest pet so if you learn the word duck it's very easy to also learn the word for spicy because it, well the only difference is that you aspirate this uh, the P um, so I think that's another feature which which makes Thai easy and then I also think that the, the people are really happy if you try to talk in Thai to them and they don't Very switch much, to English yeah. and I think that's uh, that's the main benefit of being here in Thailand and getting to use to practice with the, with the people I mean, here. In fairness, like I think out of the last 10 times I've tried to speak Thai here in Bangkok, probably half of the time people have replied in English, yeah. but the other half people reply uh, in in Thai and they are like you said they're very very happy to see you speak in Thai yeah. and um, I don't know what it's going to be like in London I, I I don't know whether people will be happy or not but you know there are some <laughs> languages surprised that's, there are some languages I'm... where if you try and speak the local language they just like they won't have it they'll reply to you in English yeah um, like it like in Holland for example in Holland it's like that right oh. yeah um, so I think certainly <clears throat> coming to Thailand and learning Thai here it's great because you really can practice with people and, they, and it really makes a difference, they're very, they're very, very happy. And that's a big deal because I, I mean, I know a lot of people that have been to countries are very, very keen to speak the language with locals and they haven't been able to because there's such a, a kind of disconnect and everyone replies in English all yeah. the time. Not like that here in, in, in Thailand, so yeah. that's definitely an advantage yeah. if you want to come here and spend time here. So Thai, so Thai is not one of the easiest languages but on the other hand, words are very short. Um, words are very similar, which can be confusing, but can also be easy to, to memorize new vocabulary. And the people are very happy if you if you if you speak in Thai to them. So you couldn't possibly leave Thailand without uh, 
better this. So this is for a massage, and um, you know, I was interested in what you were saying, Yan, about massage being the, one of the best ways to practice speaking, right? Oh, yeah. Tuk, 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 tuk. Continue. But, um, and yeah, so it costs like, what, half an hour? It costs uh, three or four euros, and you you can speak, but you've got to like... You have to relax you've got to, at the same time, right? Well, yeah, you have to relax, but also you, you have to make the effort to ask questions and yeah, continue yeah, the yeah. conversation. Yeah. And then, like, when you don't understand the reply, again and again and again, it gets a bit, like... Frustrating. Yeah, you know, a bit frustrating, yeah.